Hello students, welcome to Adi Chemistry's online coaching. In this animated presentation, I will explain the hybridization and bonding in the methane molecule, including its shape. You will not only acquire information, but also gain a deeper understanding of the underlying concepts that can be extended to other organic molecules of the same kind. I am Aditya Vardhan, the founder of AdiChemistry.com, Varangal. Before delving into hybridization part, let us examine the bonding in the methane molecule using the Lewis model. In this molecule, the central atom is carbon. It contributes four unpaired electrons for bond formation, while each hydrogen atom contributes one electron, resulting in four bonds formed by the carbon atom. However, the Lewis model alone does not provide insights into molecular shapes or bond angles. To understand these aspects, we need to employ the valence bond theory and the concept of hybridization originally proposed by Linus Pauling. Let us begin by examining the electronic configuration of a carbon atom with an atomic number of 6. Its ground state electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2 and 2p2. This can also be expressed as 1s2, 2s2, 2px1 and 2py1. It is evident that there are four valence electrons and out of which only two are unpaired. To form four typical covalent bonds, an atom typically requires four unpaired electrons. To achieve this, carbon undergoes excitation. When carbon atom gets sufficient energy, one of the electrons from 2s orbital gets unpaired and jumps into the empty 2pz orbital. This state is referred to as first excited state. And in this state, the electronic configuration is changed to 1s2, 2s1, 2px1, 2py1 and 2pz1. In this state, there are four unpaired electrons, hence carbon can form four bonds in the first excited state. But before making bonds, carbon undergoes sp3 hybridization in the excited state by combining one 2s orbital with the three 2p orbitals. It is important to note that hybridization involves the intermixing of atomic orbitals with nearly equal energy. Here, the 2s orbital and the 3p orbitals of second shell, they possess almost equal energy, so they can undergo intermixing or otherwise known as hybridization process. With four atomic orbitals participating in the hybridization, only four sp3 hybrid orbitals are created. These hybrid orbitals are arranged tetrahedrally in space around the nucleus of carbon atom, making angles of 109 degrees 28 minutes with each other. This tetrahedral arrangement is the most stable configuration for four orbitals in space. These hybrid orbitals are subsequently occupied by one electron each, resulting in the formation of four half-filled sp3 hybrid orbitals. These half-filled sp3 hybrid orbitals form sigma bonds by overlapping with the half-filled s orbitals of hydrogen atoms. This results in the creation of four sigma bonds around the central carbon atom. It is worth noting that sigma bonds are created 
when the overlapping of orbitals happens along the internuclear axis of the atoms involved in bond formation. Consequently, the shape of the methane molecule is tetrahedral with HCH bond angles measuring 109 degrees 28 minutes. That's all for now. Visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic or search for adhikemistry hybridization. I hope this presentation helped you in understanding this concept. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can also find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section. If you find it difficult to reach them, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments section or drop an email to adhikmg at gmail.com.